So our IBS Center for Nanoparticle Research was launched in 2012 here at Seoul National University campus. We pursue groundbreaking research in the nanoscience area and also some of the application areas. And through cross-collaboration between researchers with different disciplines, we want to do a lot of different kind of exciting research in the nanoscience area. We are focusing on the synthesis of different kinds of nanostructural materials, in particular uniform-sized nanoparticles. We actually developed a new synthetic method called HEDO process to produce large-scale material of uniform-sized nanoparticles. HEDO process is now popularly used by many scientists in the world to synthesize uniform-sized nanoparticles of different kinds of materials. This is really popular. That's actually shown by the high citation of our Nature Material paper in 2004. Developing energy materials and their application are one of our major interests. Thermal electrics convert waste heat to electricity, which is a very important topic for the, a lot of applications such as automobile. Bismuth tellurite has served as a canonical thermal materials for the last 60 years, but it has a big problem. Its antiphrons perform much further than its P-type cousin. We designed the, the innovative dysentery way utilizing nanochemical synthetic root, which is uh, the highly reproducible and with a high yield. Using this new off-stoichiometric potassium dot bismuth tellurite, we could achieve high thermal figure of merit, CT values over 1.1 at uh, 320 Kelvin, which is among the highest in the anti-thermal reported ever. PureSet is a quite a promising electrochemical device, but the critical issue in PureSet is a nanoparticle. When you use the nanoparticle-based pure cell catalyst, initially it gives very high activity. But you know, after a long time operation, what happens is they nanoparticle agglomerate to make larger particles, which significantly decrease activity. So we develop platinum iron nanoparticle encapsulated with carbon. The carbon layer protects nanoparticle for dissolution, coalescence, detachment, that makes the fuel cell operate very long time without any degradation. We could achieve very high activity, 10 times higher activity than commercialized platinum-based catalyst, and also more importantly, highly durable. We've been working on the Iron oxide nanoparticle based MRI contrast agent for many years, more than 10 years. We synthesize very tiny sized, like I mean the 2 nanometer sized iron oxide nanoparticle and use them for the new non toxic and also high resolution MRI contrast agent. And more recently, very excitingly, actually we could do the first monkey MRI using this uh, iron oxide based MRI contrast agent. For uh, monkeys with um, brain ischemia, we have obtained very high quality um, MR imaging for vasculatures, that is uh, MR angiography. Our um, results show that the better uh, contrast and better imaging quality was uh, possible uh, with uh, iron oxide nano cluster uh, compared with gadolinium-based contrast agent. Uh, we hope that our results uh, will be uh, feasible in patients with diseases like cancers or some ischemia. We designed and fabricated stretchable electronic devices integrated with different kinds of functional nanomaterials and apply them to the wearable and uh, implantable healthcare devices. Implantable biomedical devices can measure physiological or electrophysiological signals directly from target organs like uh, brain or heart. By using this data, we can precisely determine the patient condition. Wearable devices can measure similar kinds of information with a little bit uh, worse uh, signal quality. 
but for long-term healthcare monitoring for a potential patient, these wearable devices are quite useful. One good example of wearable device is a diabetic patch. Typically, diabetic patients need to take blood samples to uh, measure glucose concentration. Using graphene-based sensor arrays, instead of taking blood, just using sweat, we can check blood glucose level for the diabetes patients. And in response to the blood glucose measurement, uh, the system will determine the amount of drug to be delivered to the patient automatically. Uh, this device will be very beneficial to diabetes patients, particularly for young diabetes patients. Another good example of the soft bioelectronic device is a cardiac mesh. And this device will stimulate entire ventricle surface in a synchronized way. Therefore, it can improve the pumping capability of the heart uh, up to 50%. And this is very beneficial for a uh, heart failure patient. Our vision is to become world premier research center in the nanoparticle and related nanomaterials research area. We not only pursue groundbreaking fundamental uh, basic science in the nanoscience area, but also we try our best to provide solutions to the key problems in the medicine and energy.